So another Amazon update has now been pushed to some of my devices. This new one has some extra features, some extra settings. You can customize your audio sync settings. So that in the background is not a game of Brick Breaker or Arkanoid. It's one of the new things they've added to ensure that your audio is always in sync with your video. So in this video today, let me show you exactly what these new features are. I'll also show you how you can maximize your Wi-Fi speeds using the new Wi-Fi panel that they've added. And I'll also show you on another device which doesn't have the latest update, exactly what you can do on that device to make sure you get that update. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now here we are on my 4K Fire Stick Max and this device has all of the updates with all of the features, but I will jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, which is missing one of them, but there is a pending update. So let's see if that new update adds this new feature. Now the previous update for me brought these features here, which is replacing those tile banners with these icons. But one of the other things that they've added, which I saw in Freetext video, is if you go over to your settings, go over to Wi-Fi, now, in fact, before I click on this, let me jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, which doesn't have this update yet. Here we are on that 4K Fire Stick. And on this device, we can see it has the first update, which has the icons here, but this other feature, which has just been added, if I go into settings, go to network. If I now choose the Wi-Fi network I'm connected to, if I press the play button on the remote, all it does, it tells me my signal strength is very good and it tells me which channel I'm using. Now with the latest update, they've actually changed this. So now if I jump over to my other device, which has all of the updates, which is my 4K Fire Stick Max, we can see on this device, when I click on network, I again press the play button on the network that I've connected to. And we can now see this new panel, which has been added, which has some nice features and also one key feature, which can really help improve your Wi-Fi speed. Now the first thing I've added is just here where you can run a speed test. I can click on that. This now goes off in the background and does a quick speed test, an internet speed test to see what kind of bandwidth I can get. And then based on that bandwidth, it can recommend that maybe with your bandwidth, Tech Doctor can only get 1080p content, but we can see with my speed results, which are around about 400 meg downstream, I can easily support content with 4K quality without interruption. So that's really a quick way you can test to see, do I have enough bandwidth on my device to be able to stream in high definition or in 4K to make sure I can enjoy that content without interruption. So it's nice to have added that into this panel here. So without downloading any third party application, I can now do a quick speed test directly from the settings. The other thing they've added is this advanced panel here. Let's click on advanced. Now this will show you some detailed settings about your current Wi-Fi settings. So if you are noticing some Wi-Fi dropouts or maybe if your Wi-Fi speed is not great, I would say the two things to look at is where it says channel use and also the signal to noise ratio. Now for channel use, you want to pick a channel that's not congested. So if your neighbors or people living near you, if they're all using the same channel, then that can cause congestion, which again can affect your Wi-Fi performance. Now there's many free applications you can download on your phone, walk around your house, double check to see which channels are not in use and pick the one that's least busy. Now we can see the one I'm using, the usage is low, which is good. And if you need to change your channel, that's something that you'll do on your router or router. Now the second thing is the signal to noise ratio. Now, now on a basic level, we just want more signal and less noise. And if the number you see here for that ratio is below 15, then you definitely have some issues. So double check and make sure your device is not too far away from your router or router. Maybe there's not too many obstructions in the way or other devices, definitely check that out. If the number is between 25 and 40, that's considered good. And anything above 41 is considered excellent. So here we can see in my house, 
I have a signal to noise ratio of 42, 43. So that means for me, I really can get maximum Wi-Fi speeds. So again, it's great that Amazon have now added this extra information. So you can quickly see if you do have Wi-Fi connectivity issues, you can diagnose any problems and then hopefully remediate them. And one last thing is data monitoring. Now, typically we say you don't want to enable data monitoring because who wants to monitor the data on the device. But again, for certain people, if you have bandwidth limits or data consumption limits, you can actually set a monitor for this and say that on my device, I'm gonna configure data monitoring. And I'm gonna say that because I pay something with my ISP, I'm only allowed to use you know 10 gig or 100 gig. You can set that alert. So if you get close to that threshold, this then means that you need to maybe cut back on your streaming or just cut back on your data consumption. So again, really nice features, all now completely built into the settings. Okay, let's go back. Now the other new feature, which was added a couple of updates ago on the Fire TV Cube, has now also been added to all of these devices now. So if I go to display and audio, go down into audio, and we have this AV sync tuning now. I do regularly see comments where people are using certain applications or certain streaming applications and they notice that sometimes the audio is not in sync with the video. So now the great thing is with this new feature built in to the audio settings, I can now click on this. And this is basically telling you that at the default setting, as soon as that ball hits that uh, panel, that's when you hear the audio. Now, if for whatever reason you're hitting that panel, but the audio is not in sync, you can actually move this to the left to adjust that, which will then adjust when you hear the audio. And again, if that's happening too soon, if you're hearing the audio first and then it's hitting, you can then move this to the right. And hopefully then the two will be in sync. So this is something that you'll have to do on your device if you're having that lip sync issue. Okay, let's back out of that. So they're the main features on this device. Let me now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, which doesn't have the update. And let's see if we can now get this new feature. So again, on my 4K Fire Stick, we can see it doesn't have this new feature. If I press the play button, it just shows me this. I can't do any speed tests. I can't see any advanced settings. If I now press the back button, but let's now see if we can get the new Wi-Fi settings. So if I go over to my settings, my Fi TV, go to about, click on check for updates. And we can see my device is downloading an update. Let's see if this new update has that new Wi-Fi setting. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag Amazon, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, so my device is now rebooting. Let's see after this reboot, after installing the update, do we now get that new feature? Is that gonna work first time? Let's now press the play button <laughs> and we don't have that feature. So let's go back. Let me just check if there's any more updates. So you can see guys, it does seem like it's going to be a phased approach. So not everybody's going to get the update at the same time. They are rolling this out to more and more devices, but hopefully in the next few days or next few weeks, we should all get this update on all of our devices so we can go ahead and enjoy these new features. And just before you go guys, if you are looking for a new VPN or maybe if you're not happy with your current VPN, IP Vanish, who are one of our channel partners, are offering a great discount at the moment where you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at just $3.99 a month. So really at that price to get all of that protection across all of your devices at really fast speeds, with confirmed zero logging, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. Do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.